I'm a speculative architect. And what that means is that I don't design buildings, but rather I tell stories about the city. Spine with My Machine Eye is a collage of drone footage that we've collected across many years traveling through remote landscapes and really territories that lie behind the scenes of contemporary technologies. Drones are technologies that used to be really of the military, but now that view is being democratized and now you can buy a cheap drone for a couple of hundred bucks and you can fly it around the world. And it allows us to fly across fence lines and across territories that we normally wouldn't have access to. The dominant ways that we talk about technologies is that tech keynotes or conferences and it's generally these kind of preachers of Silicon Valley talking about how they've created a new app or invention that's going to solve all the world's problems and change everything. But really you know, these are overly simplified views of the role of technology. Technology is just an extension of ourselves and any technology can be open to misuse. So I like to think that all of these inventions and technologies that now fill our world are equal parts fear and wonder. A mobile phone can be used to connect people across the world, but it can be also used as the vessel through which to seal data through mechanisms of social media. So what we need to get better at is talking about not how technology is going to solve problems, but, but also talking about the new problems that technology might create and how we might be better prepared for those things. And as a culture, we're not very good at talking about those kind of complex stories. And what I spy with my machine eye looks at is drone technologies and the ways that they can be used for both great things, but also really worrying things. Because the same technology can be used to monitor a protest, and can be used by activists to make sure that police aren't using excessive force and violence, but it can also be used to spy in someone's bedroom or to drop bombs on a remote community. So we need to be able to understand how technology is just an extension of our own culture. And in that way, it's both really amazing and wondrous, but also sometimes quite scary. Two cities totally coexisting on top of each other with the, the European city and the Asian city. And it's such a rare place where those two cultural outlooks sit collapsed on top of each other in a really interesting and meaningful way. So it's a city that has a vibrance and a texture that very few other cities have. Um, and part of that is just um, a production of its radical difference.